Good day, everyone. Uh, welcome to Solar Integrations. Um, today, I'm going to be doing a follow-up video on the Sunsync, um, Sunsync Wi-Fi module connection. Um, when we left it last time, we uh, connected to the Sunsync module, and we had a, a list like this over here of um, all the values that we're pulling from there. Um, what I want to do today is to make it look a bit better and um, give us a bit more of a overview as to what's going on with our inverter because like this doesn't really I mean it's nice but it doesn't tell us a lot so what we're going to do is we're going to put a new dashboard in and um, luckily for us um, flipx 06 from um, the power forum the Toyota ZA has um, been maintaining a GitHub page with the Sunsync PowerFlow cards, which are really, really nice. Um, they are, let me open those up so you guys can see, they do a, a layout like this, which is very similar to the Sunsync, um, the Sunsync default menu option. And this is totally customizable. Um, sorry, if you hear noises, it's not dogs. Um, the and you can customize the colors, how many um, MPPTs you've got, all that type of thing. Um, so what we're going to be doing is I'll walk you through the whole process. What I would like everyone to do is just to do a backup of your system before you start, because we are going to be um, making some changes to the configuration.yaml file, and um, you want to have a fallback. So. That's very easy, settings, create a backup, and uh, run through your back, uh, just create the backup over there. Um, okay, so first thing we want to do is to, we do have hacks and thoughts from last, from our um, first, uh, from our first video. So go into hacks, go into integrations, and what we're going to do is just take this URL over here, and we're going to add that as a custom repository in Hacks. Um, I'm just going to delete that one out. Custom repository. I'm going to add it in. And it's a Lovelace um, category. And you click on Add. And it will add that repository in. Okay. Now, if we go to front end over here, we'll see the SunSync uh, PowerFlow card. Um, if you click on that. Um, let me just get rid of that. If you click on that, go down um, to download, and that will install the Sunsync PowerFlow card for you with all of the where everything needs to go. So we now have the flow card installed. Um, what we need to do now is um, I'm going to include two files. Hey, stop that. And then I'm going to include two files for you guys. The first one we need to amend to the um, configuration.yaml file. So you're going to go to browse, browse file system, configuration.yaml. Um, if you remember over here, we, we had our, um, our settings uh, that we added into the configuration.yaml file. And this file is going to go right at the bottom. Um, we're just going to add that in. And um, that's over here. It's um, this uh, Slipex power template. So we're just going to copy all of this. Okay, copy that. And that's going to paste in at the bottom. Um, the only part that you don't put in is the template and the colon. Um, otherwise, it comes up with an error. Okay, so. We put that in. There we can see we've got a green tick over there, which means it all, it all looks cool. And we click on Save. That's saved. What you also want to do is check that your configuration, that the changes you made to your configuration.yaml file aren't going to stop your system from booting. Um, you go to Developer Tools and click on Check Configuration, and that'll come up with that green bit over there, which tells you that everything's working. Okay, the next thing we want to do is um, create our dashboard. So I'm going to call this 
the Sensing power cord. Um, you can see um, over there. Okay, so now we've got our Sensing power cord up, and that's appeared on my um, my menu on the side there. But click on there, and I go to Edit, Edit Dashboard. We want to start with an empty dashboard, and I'm going to take control of that. And now what we're going to do is add a card, okay? And um, we're going to write our own card. Um, I'm going to include the card file as well. Um, it's the uh, sample card. Here we go. Okay. Sample card for PowerFlow. Um, I'm going to copy that. And I should be able to paste that in over here. Save that. Okay. So that's done. The only thing I have to do now is reboot my system so that it will um, update with the new values. Let's just let that restart. Um, what you might want to do is just do a reboot after you've changed the configuration file, because then all that data will come up live. Um, let's just go back to the SunSync path low card. Okay, busy updating everything. Okay, there are values. So now you can see we're making 887 watts from the PV panels at the moment. So now the way this works is. Um, if I go and edit these um, these settings over here, I can have a look. Um, these values over here are uh, representative of these over here, and these are my sensor values in Home Assistant. If I um, let me just open up another Home Assistant, develop tools, open a new tab. Okay, so. If I go and have a look here and I see, for example, um, the, let me look for some, um, say PV1. Okay, now the default one that only has one um, PV panel on. If I go and have a look under developer tools, state, if I have a look at what that value is, there I can see it's 887 watts. So um, if I just go back here, PV2, 187 is 731 watts. So I've, I, I've, I have uh, two MPPC controllers on my, uh, on my setup. So what I want to do is over there, Uh, let's just go to 187. I'm going to copy that sensor from there. And I'm going to add that in over there like that. Okay. And over here, um, there's an option for number of TV panels. Yeah. You go to the to slipx 06s GitHub page and scroll down. Um, there is all your card options over here, all the the uh, that you have. Um, I'm just want to have a look for my PV panels, inverter, battery, solar. Okay, MPPT. Um, Let's just have a look for the MPPT value in that card. Um, so MPPT is one. So I change that to two. Oops. And we save. You can now see it's got two MPPT. Um, if I if I want to put in a value for uh, if I want to have three, obviously change it. It will handle up to four MPPT. So if I go over here and I change my solar, if I change that to three, 
the same. Okay, there's PD3. All right, so um, you can customize your um, settings like that. Um, I'm just going to change this back to two. And then what we will also do is you can see I don't have a, a PV2 volts or amps there. If I have a look down here, um, there's my voltage and my current. So now what I want to do is see what my sensor is called for PV2's voltage and amperage. So I'm going to go back to over here. And there's my current. Okay, so I'm going to put that into voltage current. Okay, so the current is that one over there. Okay, now you can see the current is appearing. And if I go to voltage, oops. That's a 111. I can go back over here. Okay, the thing that the guys have done, which is very nice, is you can see I've got 111 over there, and that matches up for 111 there. So matching up your um, your sensors is a lot easier. So click on Save. That'll now be giving me um, all of that information over there. Um, I hope. Hey. Sorry, I should have kicked my dogs out. Um, I hope that that, on, that uh, is clear for you guys. If anybody's got any questions, let me know. What I am going to do is do another video on Home Assistant and the things that you can do with it with your um, solar system and why you would want to use Home Assistant with your inverter, um, what intelligence it's going to bring to it. So please like and subscribe and stay tuned. And um, I'm looking forward for your comments. I hope these videos are getting better. It's just practice. So. Thank you very much for watching.